What's the difference between an MDF bed pool table and a slate bed pool table? Well, it's a really good question, and uh, by comparing the two, it can really help send you on a particular direction when you're deciding on your purchase of a pool table for your home or games room or even commercial premises. Now, before getting into the exact detail of all the components of the table that might be different on the two models, it's worth just mentioning the areas of the market that these two tables are trying to cover. So, the first thing to look at really is price point. So an MDF table is going to be considerably cheaper than a slate bed table. Um, now, generally, in terms of price, you'd be looking for a general quality MDF table somewhere around £200 up to around maxing out at £600. Whereas a slate bed pool table, generally you're looking at these days £1,000 or more. Now, an MDF table also covers a particular requirement for a pool table to be able to be moved around. Now, due to the weight of an MDF table, you can generally play on that table and then put it to the side of a room, uh, whereas a slate bed table, you're looking at sort of maybe 250 kilograms and upwards, you'll tend to find that that sort of table won't be able to be moved as readily. So with an MDF table as well, you get other little storage solutions and things like that that are not really appropriate on a slate bed table, such as folding legs. So an MDF table that might only weigh up to around 80 kilograms, it can have a folding leg system, so when you finish playing the table, it can be sent behind a sofa or put into a garage or something similar. So again, it's another area to think about whether you want your table to be permanently fixed in the room or whether you want to be able to move it around. Now, just as a side note, um, single piece British slate bed tables can be moved if you have to. It's not something you would want to do regularly, but they can be moved and they can be put into place. American tables, the larger slate bed tables, generally cannot, simply because they have three pieces of slate, so if you move it, that can disrupt the slates. Um, so have a think about that, as that's definitely something to help guide you down which way you'd like to go. So let's get into the nitty gritty, as I said earlier, about the differences between the tables. So the first thing to look at is the play surface. So as the name suggests, an MDF play surface is using a sheet of MDF or medium density fiber board to create the play surface. Now obviously the cloth goes on top of that and this is where the, the pool balls roll around on. Now, depending on the quality of the table, uh, you'll generally find the MDF is either 12 millimeters up to 18 millimeters thick on the more robust models. Uh, and again, there are, there are price and quality points that come through MDF tables like in any sort of product range. Um, so that's what you're looking out for. That's quite important to consider if you're looking at the MDF side of things. With an MDF 18 millimeter bed, you're gonna get a lot less energy loss and things like that and less flex on the play surface. So you tend to find that gives you the, the better roll. Now, a slate bed table is actually using a piece of rock, a piece of slate for the play surface. And despite attempts over the years for other materials to come into the market, they've never been able to replicate how good and level a play surface you're going to achieve with slate. Um, you know, it's got the best roll, it's got the least energy loss, and it is just something to, uh, to marvel at when you, if you haven't played on a slate bed table before. So, Around the structure of the table, things change as well. So a bit like we were talking about, and I must say that the slate bed table, is it, it does explain where that weight difference is. Having either an MDF board in an MDF table or a slate in a slate bed table, that's where that weight difference is for moving around. So with that extra weight, just the general structure of the cabinet of a slate bed table is going to be superior to that of an MDF table, simply because the MDF table doesn't need to be as robust to carry the same sort of weight. Now. Moving on from that, we've got the cloth. So the cloth that sits on top of the play surface. On a MDF table, the cloth is absolutely acceptable, but it's gonna be a fairly basic cloth. It may be um, that it, they're using slightly cheaper fibers than you might have on a slate table, but it's gonna be functional and fine. However, on a slate bed table, especially a British slate bed table, um, you tend to get a napped cloth. So this is where when you uh, brush your hand along the cloth one way, you'll get some resistance, and if you go the other way, you'll feel it smooth. So a few of the quality differences with cloth would be the thickness of the cloth is gonna be better on the slate bed table, uh, the, the quality of the weave and the fibers and the wool content used um, is gonna to be top notch on a slate bed table. And again, nothing wrong with those used on a, on a MDF table, uh, but just bear in mind it has been made to a price point once again. Now, similar vein, we've got cushion response. Now this is very important, and this is something we get asked a lot about on MDF tables versus slate. And the key thing here is that a, a slate bed table is made to 
a professional play standard. This means that the cushion response is going to be superior on a slate bed table to an MDF table in general. But there's a little bit more to it. Firstly, the quality of the rubber that is used on a slate bed table is going to be better than that on an MDF in general. Again, it's a price point. So the manufacturers who are making the MDF tables are going to maybe just use a slightly cheaper cut of rubber or quality of rubber. And whereas the slate bed factories are going to make sure that this is as premium a rubber as, as they can achieve for you. The other thing is energy loss. So with the general weight and squat nature of a slate bed table, when the ball makes contact with the cushion and this rather thick cushion rail, you'll find that the energy absorption is less. It will rebound back more. There'll be more energy still left in the ball when it comes back out. Um, whereas on an MDF table, you're gonna find that because it's a lighter structure and maybe that's slightly harder or slightly cheaper rubber, you are going to have more energy absorption on the ball. So it's not gonna rebound quite as well. But to be fair to MDF tables, they have improved a lot over the years and some of them are using a really good quality rubber now and it's actually really been a bit of a game changer in that respect. Okay, so apart from the structure of the table, the bed and the cushions, you might find that the pockets are slightly different on an MDF table to a British uh, slate bed table at the very least. What tends to happen is because MDF tables again are made for a price point and more of a family orientated table, you tend to find that the pockets are slightly larger than you might go on a regulation British slate bed table. Now, there's nothing wrong with that. And you can certainly have sometimes a more enjoyable game with kids or family members. They can pop more into a larger pocket space. And it is arguably a more difficult game on a regulation British table. So again, another thinking point really about what you want to achieve from your table um, and who's going to be playing that table as well. Now, the equipment you get with each table is going to be a bit different as well. So the pocket sizes can be different on MDF tables, and that sometimes means that you're going to get a slightly larger pool ball on there. You might get an American size pool ball on a MDF table to, to go with its American size pockets. But have a look, there are other tables on the MDF market that have more akin to British size pockets and they use a two inch pool ball. Whereas you will find, as we said earlier, that uh, the equipment you get with a slate bed pool table or British slate bed pool table is going to be relevant to the pocket size. So in the case of a British table, you're looking at two inch pool balls that you get. Now, the cues that you might get with an MDF table are going to be probably slightly cheaper than the cues you get with a slate bed table. Again, it's all part of the price point. It's all part of the quality difference between the two sides of the market. So look out for that. But remember, you can always buy better cues as it's the first thing that you touch when you're going to play the table. So you can enjoy a nice cue and still play on an MDF table or a slate bed table. So the only other thing to look at is the capping or the laminate on the uh, surface of the cabinets of these tables. So because slate bed tables were made more for the pub market originally, they had to be really quite tough, um, sort of scratch resistant, burn resistant laminates. Um, so you will find you're getting a better quality capping, let's say, on a slate bed table versus an MDF table. However, to be fair to MDF and the MDF market, the laminates that they use now are fantastic. They're getting some really good color choices, some nice sort of grains in there and things like that. But certainly if you were saying, look, I'm buying this table for a youth club, it's gonna get loads of use. You might wanna consider the slightly more robust nature of these tables. So hopefully that information gives you just some ideas of what to consider, whether you're going down the MDF route or the slate bed route. Um, and just remember that if you're looking kind of for a fun game at a good price point and something you can move around, then the MDF table might be for you. If you're looking at a more professional playing table, a bit more weight, but remember that it needs to really stay squat and in place in the room most of the time, then maybe a slate bed table is for you. So I hope that information has been useful.